five points per game. Dennis Badalow, 15 points per game as well. Nicoli, number nine. Not on the court. No, there he is. Excuse me. He was hidden. Ulm in orange. Milan in white. There's a shot early on from your leading scorer for Ulm. That's Raibe. He's been one of the better players in this tournament so far. He's not flashy. I really love it about him. He just calmly scores, calmly leads his team. Here's a shot from outside for Milan. That bounces long, rebound. Stayed in bounds, but ends up with Mikhailov of Ulm. Almost turnover. Mikhailov gets it back, a bit sloppy. Ryba ends up with it, back to Mikhailov. Mikhailov, dribbled, trying to find an outlet, can't find it, five seconds left on the shot clock. Ryba, a little bit long, rebound, falls to Ulm. A penalty called. Zelinskas, number 17, will shoot two. It's first time for me calling a game for Milan in this tournament. I think I've called it for everybody else. Milan. Suffering losses to Real Madrid and Alba Berlin. Can't blame them too much. Those two teams were fairly clearly the best team so far in the tournament. Real Madrid far and away the best team in the tournament so far. Almost ridiculous. They put up the game before this one. Perhaps the closest thing to a perfect game you're going to see in a tournament like this. Rebound Zelenskas. Müller, shots up, it's good. Seven point lead for Ulm early on, they look good. Again, Ulm, the youngest squad in the tournament. Some of the youngest players, obviously. There's a block shot, there's Rybut. He does everything, and a turnover on the other side. A bit too long, trying to get the outlet pass to Mikhailov. And impressive so far for Ulm, again, without Dadit, potentially their star. Milan looking to score their first points. Fiorillo looked like a two. Doesn't fall anyway. Ryba strong at the hoop. Gathers it in. Mikhailov, now it's Müller. Müller setting up the offense. Ryba. Ryba wanted the shot. Dribble drive, left-handed attempt. Lays it up, can't get it. Gets his own rebound and puts it home. There's my guy, Ryba. And a nine-point lead early on. Rasio Farm Ulm over Milan. We'll be back in a second.
Of all the great stereotypes in the world, I think one of the best is how expressive Italians are. And you could hear the coaches for Milan being quite expressive during that break. Michel Catalani, head coach. Well, he must have said something right as the first points are poured in by Badalao. Muller. Trying to get Miller open. Zilinskas, dribble drive. And he's fouled. Two team fouls on Milan. Zilinskas will shoot two. And he hits both. Friendly reminder that as this tournament is going on at the Audi Dome, alongside it is a coaching clinic held by some of the top coaches in the EuroLeague, in EuroLeague history, including Coach Pablo, pa Pablo Lasso, his son, Coach Pesic, several others, also part of the coaching clinic as Milan scores after a turnover. You have analysts, you have trainers, coaches, really a workshop for those who love basketball, especially those who coach basketball or train. As Rybit gets blocked. And the ball will go to Milan. You can take part in this clinic. Head over to the FC Bayern website or EuroLeagueBasketball.net. Whistle blown on the floor. That'll be the first foul against Ulm. Ulm up 11 to four. See some Ulm fans in the Twitch stream chat. Also seen some from Milan, or at least from Italy. Appreciate all of you here. As we see chefs come on the floor. I heard from somebody that he's the youngest player in the tournament. Don't take my word for it. Maybe someone can confirm. My basketball expert, Niels, is taking a break for this game. Zelenskas with a nice rebound. Müller. Miller, strong drive. Zelinskas at the basket, lays it up and in, and a foul. The Milan defense just given a little too much space to Ulm. Let's see if that tightens up as Coach Catalani is coaching his players up. Chance for a three-point play. Zelenskas misses. Lead remains at nine. Shot is up. It's in and out. Rebound falls to Milan. Under the basket. Turn and travel. Zanetti is trying to figure out what he did wrong. Took too many steps. Miller. Full court defense from Fury though. Nope, sorry, that's Casella. Is that a seven or a one? That looks like a seven. Boy, it's way too close to a one. Dribble drive up and no good, but a foul. Quick will shoot. Free throws. Quick. One of the better. Offensive players for Ulm in this tournament, averaging 14 points a game. One 
1.5 assists. Albert Mace, you're right. The, today has been a day of blowouts, except for the first game. First game was really a fantastic one this morning. Uh, Zalgiris Kaunas against Next Generation Team Munich came down to the last seconds. Zalgiris came away with the win. That was a very exciting game, but the last few have been, well, topsy-turvy. Quick, trying to make it an 11 point game, he does. Casella. Casella, inside, almost fouled, didn't foul him, but Zanetti scores anyway. Miller. Miller will have to take on some scoring responsibilities after Dottie had to sit, presumably with an injury. Foul called on the play. Ro uh, Rosic will come on for Miller as Quick will shoot more free throws. the first one. No rush from the free throw line, despite his name. Misses the second, rebound falls. And Cheesy for Milan. Here's Zanetti. Zanetti, dribble drive, almost traveled. Nicoli, Nicoli from three, it's up and it's good. Smooth shot. Rosic. Raibe. Here's Müller. Rosic, quick. Dribble drive, left-handed shot, it's up and good. Smooth looking shot from quick. Dribble drive down the floor. And knocked away, blocked by Zelenskas. Cupcake will come on for Zelenskas for Ulm. Shot is up, a little bit short. Cupcake with the rebound. Now it's Rosic. Rosic throws it away, but it's out of bounds. Touched last by Badalao for Milan. Bloom will keep the ball. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. There's a baby crying somewhere in the Audi Dome. Just goes to show that the atmosphere here is good for everybody, all ages. Come and enjoy the road first. I just had a nice road first between games. Michel Catalani, head coach for this Milan squad. Nicoli, nice pass inside. That's great court vision. Nicoli de Badalao. Milan fans will like to see more of that. Rosic. Rosic turnover. Milan picking up steam. Chance for a fast break points. Bad pass turnover. Kopke up ahead to Quick. Quick could dunk it. He takes it and just misses a dunk. Falls under the basket. Looks like everybody's okay. I love when players go up aggressively. He saw the defender and he said, you know what? I don't care, I'm gonna try it anyway. Didn't work. A 
Anchisi. That ball is dribbled off the shoe. Vadalo. Anchisi to the rim. Throws it up. No good. Miller. Miller to the rim, up and no good, but a foul. Boy, Miller really has that extra gear. He can really turn on the afterburners when he wants to. Saw it there, got a foul. That's the fifth foul for Milan, only one against Ulm. First one is good. As is the second, a smooth shot from Rilla. And cheesy, battle out, and he traveled. Not a very clean start for the Italian squad. Müller. Reiben. Left hand. Goes up strong. Couldn't finish. Battle out. Looking to run it. Slows it down and cheesy. Zanetti. Outside to McCauley. McCauley wants to shoot. Doesn't have a lane, gets to the outside. Clogged up, shot is up, and no good from Anchisi. Milan struggling to score. Miller trying to use his speed, and it's blocked from behind. Fast break chance, behind the back pass, and laid up and in. Well done by Fiorillo. And a timeout will be called by Ulm. We'll take a quick break. Um, 20, Milan, 13, at the Audi Dome in Munich. want to go home winless in this third round and neither do they want to fight for seventh place fifth place sounds so much better euro step and it falls battle out with a take and a three-point play possibility Good. 
So Milan has come back to within four. The big deficits that were spoken of earlier. Well, for the moment, we've got a game. Muller. Outside to Rosic. Rosic, that's way left. Rebound, Milan. It's McColey. Under a minute left to play here in the first. McColey looking for space. Splits defenders in a foul. Nice job. Third team foul on Ulm. First one on Mikhailov. As Casella will check back in the game for Anchisi. And to take a look at McCauley, he's got three points on the game. Leading scorer for Milan so far in the tournament. Fiorelli. Nice pass. And a slam. Nice. Badalau putting it home. Rosic. Under 30 seconds, Müller takes it to the rim. No, nope, passes it back out to Zelenskas. Zelenskas looking for space. Mikhailov at the rim, turn around. Rosic, now it's Müller. Four seconds on the shot clock. Rosic needs to take a shot. He does, looks like a two, and it's very short. And a shot clock violation. Nicoli leaves the floor, and Chisi back in. Took about a... 30 second break, 10 seconds left. And Cheesy, gonna get down the court. And a foul on the floor, 14 fouls, 2.4 seconds left. Milan is indeed waking up. They've made this a ball game. That's a nice plays at the basket. Battle out, nine points, leading all scorers. And a very nice dunk. There's a shot from outside at the buzzer. No good. And after one, we've got ourselves a game. Ulm 20, Milan 18. We'll be right back after this quick break. And we're back in a battle for a fight to reach the fifth place game. Rasha Farm Ulm. Milan. Both winless so far in the tournament. Looking to get off the Schneid. They and FC Bayern are the only teams without a win. Dribble drive under the hoop. 
Three-point attempt is short. Rebound, nicely done by the little guy, number six. And it's up and good. He is rewarded. That's Anchisi. Gets it to Fiorillo. And Italy, Milan, takes a one-point lead. First time in the game they've held the lead. Nice pass to Rybet at the hoop. And he puts it home. Rybet with seven. Back and forth we go. Casella, Badalao, and Cheesy. Shot is up, and it's drilled. That's Casella from deep. Offense picking up for both teams. So is the pace. Both teams want this one. Rosic. Dribble drive gets to the inside. Now out, Müller. Shot from deep, this is quick, and he drills one in the zone. Here we go. Zanetti. Dribble drive, defender falls, and he lays it home. Great point by Albert Mace, one, the game became beautiful. It's, it's amazing how basketball works that way, right? It can be an absolute disaster for a quarter. And all of a sudden, it's like a ballet. Foul called. Be the first, first foul against Milan. Substitutions coming on for Milan, including Nicoli, likely the leading scorer. Müller from three, and he drills it. Wow, both teams have really caught fire. Back and forth, the lead goes. There's a steal. Müller up ahead, could have a fast break. He had quick, didn't try it, slows it down. Rosic. Rosic, dribble, drive, tries to get around the towers, and he's fouled in the attempt. The little man took it inside, and it paid off. Coach Ragnarsson telling Quick what he wants to be done on the floor. They're determining, I think, if it was a shooting foul or not. And they're saying it is not on the floor. So two fouls for Milan, no free throws. Oh, such an inbound. A bit of a push. Top of the key. Not called. Zelenskas almost lost it. Dangerous pass. Out of bounds. Ulm will keep the ball. Six seconds left. On the shot clock, that is. Miller. And a travel. Got caught up in the air. Running out of time on the shot clock anyway. Boom, up by two. Seven minutes 40 left to play. Welcome all of you to the Adidas Next Generation Tournament. A tournament of stars. And we've seen some in this year's play as well as a foul is called against Ulm on the floor. Their first team foul. In the past, of course, we've seen Superstars like Luka Doncic. Potential superstars like Victor Wembayama. And this year, who, who are the superstars? Maybe it's Hugo Gonzalez we just saw with Real Madrid. That shot is up, and it's good. Rosic, I'm not sure he's considered a superstar, but he's off to a good start. Quick. Turn over now. Turns it over himself. Up ahead. Nicoli. Shot from deep. And it's long. Rosic with the rebound. 
Rosic. Quick. Zelenskas. Rosic. Nice pass on the inside. Rybit. Now it's quick for three. And it's good. Quick is feeling it early on. He's got 11. And Ohm's back up by eight, just like that. 34 26. Marcucci. Shot is up, and it's long from Casella. Rosic. Here's Quick. Quick has the hot hand. Raibe. Dribble drive, left hand attempt. It's up. It's good. This is what he does. He's so strong. He's so consistent. He's reliable at the rim. He's got nine. Pass is stolen away. Well done by Rosic. Again, not the biggest guy on the court, but he's pesky. He's been all over the place. Assists, rebounds, points, steals, and here he is with a three, and it's short. Rebound almost taken in by Zelenskas, but Milan ends up with it, and he's fouled. Coley on the perimeter. That is the first team foul. No, I'm sorry, the second team foul against Ulm. Five minutes, 40 to play. Number 12 from Ulm has been very good. He's been one of my favorite players to watch, Raibe. He's just very reliable, I think is the right word. Doesn't miss many shots. Takes a lot of shots at the rim. Been very impressive for me. Young. Shot up. Jump shot, no good. Rebound falls to Milan. Shot again, and that's very long from Anchisi. Quick. Quick has 11 points in the first half. Here's Miller. Miller thought about a jump shot, doesn't take it. Instead, passes it inside. Nice pass and a finish from Zelenskas. Wolm has really figured out their inside out game. Mostly working on the inside. Yeah, that's a jump shot. Two pointer from Nicoli. Miller quickly back down the other side. Here's Rybit. Kulame. And it's out of bounds off Ulm. Nicoli. And now Anchisi. Murakuchi. And Cheesy. Cheesy thought about a shot. And he traveled. You could tell his foot dragged a bit. Could be a bit slick. I think he thought he didn't travel. Didn't take too many steps, but he just kind of slid along the floor a little bit. Perhaps the sweeper needs to get over there. Mikhailov. Raibe. Mikhailov. Raibe. Raibe. Not sure what he was trying there. Wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Steel goes to Milan. Up ahead. Nicoli. And Cheesy. Foot on the line. Thought about it. Didn't take it. Now a layup attempt. It is long. Rebound falls to Milan. Marcucci. Now it's Fiorillo. Takes a shot. It's long as well. Mikhaila. Milan struggling to score. 38-28, not a high scoring game. Here's Quick. Slick dribbling and then a turnover. And here is a layup attempt and a foul. Volant. Got fouled in the process. There have been a lot of travels. Honestly, there, there's been some sloppy play in the tournament, especially from some teams. A lot of turnovers, unforced penalties, a lot of stepping out of bounds. I think some of these guys, a lot of youth, obviously, and a lot of 
players that are playing in a you know bigger stadium than normal, different look. Maybe they had too many road first yesterday. Who knows? And the second one is good. Eight point lead now for Ulm. Kulame with the handle, number two. And he throws it away. Nobody wants to inbound from Milan. Kulame will sit Rosic quickly back on the floor. The Floor general was missed in his few brief moments on the bench. McCauley takes the three. And it is off point and a foul called after the rebound. That will be the third team foul for Milan as Badalao is coming back in for Fiorillo. Badalao, nine points, leads Milan in scoring. Rosic. Trying to make space. Quick. Tripped up, and a foul. That's the fourth Milan foul. Some people unhappy with the call in the crowd. Someone's gonna have to tell me who we're looking at on the camera there, I'm afraid. I don't know. Offensive foul called. That was against Kupke. As mentioned in the Twitch chat, you can watch all games from this tournament again. FC Bayern backslash Adidas NGT slash Munich slash games. Also find them on YouTube. Bayern plays again at 7 o'clock Munich time. They'll play against the next generation team Munich. Bayern hoping to pick up their first win in the tournament. Bayern, unfortunately, depleted by fouls. Have had a unique experience of having to combine teams with the E-bomb team. Rival here in Munich. Bayern hoping to somehow get out of that seventh place game. As are these two teams. Let's see who outlasts the other. Ulm obviously has a slight advantage here in the last three minutes of the first half. Quick with 11 points, Müller for, with seven, Raibe with nine, Zolenskas with eight for Ulm. Zanetti's got six, eight for Casella, five for McCauley, nine for Badalao for Milan. And Cheesy, Marcucci, Badalao. That's a three attempt, and it's quite short. He gets his own rebound. This is McCauley, and he's fouled. McCauley frustrated that his shooting touch has not been there so far in this game, but he'll get a second chance from the free throw line. It's a fortunate hop on that one. 
drops home. Goalie's up and good. Rosic. Mikhaila. And bad pass turnover uh, from Mikhaila. Looking for Kupke. Been a bit sloppy here in the last few minutes for Ulm. Chance for Milan to make a comeback down only by six. Two minutes, 17 left to play. Marcucci, Badalau, takes a jump shot, difficult shot, and rebound, Zelenskas, ball will stay with Ulm. Right, but checks back into the game, Zelenskas leaves. Here's Chefs. Takes the three, bit off, Ryba with the rebound, and he's fouled. That will be the fifth team foul for Milan. Ryba will shoot free throws. Raiba was averaging 16.5 points coming into the game. With 11 in the first half, he's looking good to match that. Badalau, baseline, backs it out, jump shot, it's long, rebound, collected by Marcucci. Now it's McCauley, takes a shot, it's short, rebound quick. Quick, looking to speed things up, minute 20 left to go here in the first half. Here's Chefs, Chefs in the corner, looking for space, dribble drive, can't find space, gets it back out, tries to, out of bounds, and it looks like, oh, they're calling that off. Boom. It'll be a Milan ball. And Cheesy. Marcucci. Volant. And Cheesy. One minute play. Badalau. Shot is up from deep and it's long. Volant with the rebound under the hoop. Tries to get it up and in. He does. Nice left handed reverse for Volant. Six point game. 42 seconds to play here in the half. Rosic. And an offensive blocking foul called. I believe that's against Zelinskas. No, excuse me, number 10, Kopke. 35 seconds remaining. Milan with the ball. They can make it a one possession game with a three pointer, three point play. McCauley, Badalau, Badalau, spin, back to McCauley. And Cheesy, Volan, inside, looking to get under the hoop, again he does. Nice moves from number 21, and the game's back within four, seven seconds left, Ulm looking to get the last shot off, five seconds, Rosic, who's gonna take the shot? Nobody, because the foul is called. And Cheesy doesn't like it. Rosic is a little happier about it, I imagine. He'll shoot two. 
1.4 seconds left on the clock in the first half. Matchup between two teams that have not yet won, both fighting to play in the fifth place game tomorrow at noon. For shots up, it's good. And the second one is off. Ribet rebound up and no good. Good attempt from number 12. Couldn't quite finish it here at the end of the first half. We have finished two quarters, 20 minutes. We'll come back for the second half. Ohm 41, Milan 36. We'll be back after a 10 minute break here at the Audi Dome. Immer und überall. Immer live dabei. Deine App. A fellow hunter. Werde Teil des Teams und lade jetzt die kostenlose FC.
people can tell me this <laughs> Lower the lights down Hand over my crown Hand over my heart I do this for my town I do this for my crowd So turn me up real loud My time, yeah. my time yeah. None of you yeah. people can tell me to stop Turning the track up I'm never going back down Hand over my heart I do this for my town I do this for my crowd So turn me up real loud My time, yeah. my time yeah. None of you yeah. people can tell me to stop uh. Bist du nervenstark und ein Powerplayer? Hast du Führungskraft? Wie eine echte Maschine? Dann sei ein Game Changer bei der Baiwa. She ain't ready for the F. He be riding on the wave. Uh, I ain't got a lot to say. Uh, Mine's heavy, give me space. Yeah. Pine's ready, let me blaze. Yeah. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, time's money, money.
You are watching the Adidas Next Generation Tournament, broadcasting from the Adidome in Munich. I'm Kevin Gilligan. This is a game between Ulm and Milan. It's been a close one, pretty balanced in terms of scoring and shooting. Both teams shooting around 50% from the floor. The difference is, I suppose, Ulm has a lead because they're 5 for 10 from 3. And they have a smallish lead because they have 14 turnovers to 7 for Milan. An early foul there called against Milan. If you're just joining us, Ulm dressed in orange, Milan in white. Both teams winless so far in the tournament. Looking to get off the schneid and to get a place in the fifth place game tomorrow at 12. A take to the rim. Oh, Ryba. Big man gets up. Nice block. He's just quietly dependable, Eric Ryba. That ball stolen away. To the rim, spin move up and good. Garavaglia with the steal and the score. Move there. Now it's quick, quick, takes the three. And it's short, rebound falls to Zanetti. Here's McCauley, back to Zanetti. Zanetti wants the three, he takes it. And it's long, rebound falls to Zelenskas. The offense started very slow for both teams in the first quarter, picked up in the second. Ended up being a fairly attractive play in the last 10 minutes of the first half. Here's Quick, both teams shooting decently. Miller looked like a three, it's short. And rebounded by Badalow. There's a steal, Quick, he goes up, and it's long, but it's put in by Zelenskas with a foul. Johnny the Boney asked, how did Alba play earlier today? Well, Johnny, let me put it this way. <laughs> Alba run, ran into one of the best performances that anyone's going to ever see at the AGT tournament. Real Madrid put on an absolute monster of a show. Ended up beating them by, I don't know, something like 60 points. Which is pretty incredible because Alba Berlin had had a very good tournament, as everybody knows, up until today. And then they came across Real Madrid and it was a different story. Really remarkable. As it looks like Garavaglia left perhaps with an injury. Hard to say. Looks like he's okay. Getting looked at a little bit on the bench. Coming on is Karim. I don't think he's been on the court today so far. Badal out. Nicoli, back to Badalao. And a bad pass, miscommunication between Nicoli and Badalao. Caleb. Rebounded by Casella. Yeah, Johnny. Sorry if I was too harsh, but um, no, it was uh, it was rough for Alba Berlin. But I, I think again, it's just it was one of those performances from Real that I don't think it matters any team in the world under 18 who faced off against Real today. Oh, that drops in. That's a three-pointer. Nicoli scores it. His 10th point of the game. I mean, if Real Madrid plays half as good as they've played in the first three games, how is anyone going to beat them all the way to the championship? I, I don't know. They, they are a ridiculous, talented group. It's up. No good. Ryba doesn't typically miss those. Miss that one. Nicoli up ahead. Dribble drive. Up. Nice pass under the basket. And Badalao is just allowed to put it in. And here come Milan, down now by one. So the second half has been all Milan so far. 
Boom. Needs to find their rhythm again on offense. Here's Quick looking to be that rhythm, and he is. There's a very nice underhanded layup. Rolls it in with the fingertips. Badala. Zanetti. Zanetti backing down his defender and puts it home. There's an easy point. Well done by the big man Zanetti. Six and a half to play. Here's Mueller. And it is a screening foul. That's called against Rybin. It's his second foul, I believe. Maybe his first and seeing if the scoreboard will update. Coley. Shoots the tech. And Casella will start with the ball. Nicole takes a jump shot, difficult shot, very well defended. Almost saved by Karim, but it rolls out of bounds. I I don't see Real Madrid losing for the rest of the season. I'm just gonna call I'm gonna call my shot there. After watching their performance against Berlin. I don't know if they're gonna lose a game. I think they win the qualifiers here. I think they win the final four, but still plenty of time, plenty of basketball left and plenty of teams left to watch as that's put in by Mr. Reliable, Eric Ryba. Kickball, I will go back to Milan. McCauley. Five seconds on the shot clock. McCauley takes it off somebody's head. Ends up with Miller. Miller up ahead to Ribet. Ribet under the basket. He's so good under it. This one doesn't go in. Zelenskos with the rebound. Reset for Ulm. Ryba across court. Here's Quick. And he's fouled. Only a 13 foul. Against Milan. Quick is tied with Ryba for the team lead with 13 points as Mikhailov leaves. Rosic comes back on. Quick has been a reliable player for Ulm so far in the tournament. Rosic. That is up and long from Zelenskas. Casella thought about taking it the whole way, and he's they calling it a kickball, I believe. First it looked like a foul, but kickball called against Munich. And cheesy. Badalao. Badalao. Looking to get under the basket. He does, but can't finish. Rebound Zelenskas. Now here's Rosic. Five minutes play in the third. Ryba could have taken a three, but didn't. Rosic now has it. And a foul on the perimeter called against Karim. Fourth team foul. Quick. Into Ribbit. Here's Quick. Round the horn. Foul called. 
and Quick will shoot two as Ulm is in the bonus. We got a good one here in Ulm. <laughs> in Ulm, sorry. Ulm versus Milan. This is Munich, by the way. Forty-eight, forty-six. Kupke will replace Zelenskas. Low scoring third quarter so far. Both teams struggling a bit from the field. Zanetti, Casella, and Cheesy almost had it stolen. Gets it back. Badalao, dribble drive, left hand, and he's fouled. Second foul against Ulm. Casella to inbound from under his own basket as Chefs checks in for Ulm. And Cheesy, shot from Zanetti. It's up, it's no good. Rebound, Kopke. Rosic, let's see if anybody can score here in the third. Chefs. Ribe, and he's got it. And that's a three. Ribe, 16 points, puts Ulm up by six. Milan, as they did in the first, struggling to score. Here's Battle out. The struggles continue as Miller takes in the rebound. Ribe, smooth. Miller. Oh, a falling down shot, and he drills it. Timeout called. Milan will be back after this quick break. Milan has been their three-point shooting. They're four of 19, shooting 21%. That is not going to do it. You're going to have to tighten things up or, well, maybe just stop shooting from three. Down by eight. Could be worse. Battle out. And cheesy. Zanetti. Casella takes the three. And he misses another one. Rebound. Raibe. Up ahead to Miller. Rosic. Rosic. Boy. No fear for the little man. Takes it in and gets hammered. Eric Ribe 
by the way, has a double-double, 10 rebounds, 16 points. Just super, super reliable. He really, I know I've said it about five times now in this cast, but he just goes along quietly doing his works. Doing his work. After the eighth game broadcasting for me, my brain is starting to shut off. <laughs> Apologize to everybody. Rosic. The lead is back to 10 for the Ulmers. Dribble, slip, drive, steal. Miller, two on one, he's got Ribet. And a, an unfortunate pass, actually really well defended by Zanetti. Did a good job getting his body in front of Miller, but in between Ribet. Ribet maybe should have given a little more space. Zanetti, now with the ball. Garavaglia, now it's Zanetti, takes the three. Just a bit short, Kupke. Now it's Rosic, up ahead, trying to run the floor. Ribe. Miller. Ribe takes the three and drills it. Eric Ribe. Mr. Um. Dribble drive, nice pass underneath and block and a foul. Ribe. Not bad, young man, as he heads off the floor. 19 points, 10 rebounds. Gets a hearty applause from the crowd. Zanetti will shoot two. Drills the first one. Elon needs to find that offense they had there in the second quarter. Fast pace. Good passing. They're struggling from outside, so got to find an answer somewhere else or, well, get hot from outside, I suppose. Rosic, two minutes remaining in this third quarter. Oh, up by 11 at the ANGT here in Munich. Rosic, Zelenskas thought about a shot, didn't take it. Here's Quick. Quick, spin move. Zelenskas, now it's Rosic, takes the shot. Shot clock expiring, bounces off, rebound. Well done by Badalau. Strong rebound. Zanetti, all alone, cannot make it. Those threes will just not drop for Milan. Rosic, minute 20. Quick, Quick's got 14. Solid game as he's had all tournament. That is up and it's good. Count the basket and a foul. Kupke will head to the line. Ulm. Pulling away a little bit. This is that moment in the game where it could go either way. Could turn into an easy win, or Milan turns it around. It's all could hinge in the next few minutes, and that's not going to help. Wow, McCauley called for a travel. He doesn't know what he did. Shrugs his shoulders. Did something that the referee didn't like. Jeffs will inbound. Rosic. One minute to play. 
Rosic fouled hard. Ulm just much more aggressive right now than Milan. You start to see a little bit of frustration from Milan. I think they're going to need to have a talking to after the quarter. You can see a frustrated McCauley. Really doesn't understand how he traveled, I think. Shake it off. On to the next 15-point lead now for the boys in orange from Ulm. Mikhailov will head to the floor in place of Quick for Ulm. Here's McCauley. A very early foul from Chefs. Trying to keep up with a speedy youngster, number nine. Fourth team foul for Ulm. Casella, McCauley. Badalow. Volant, McCauley. Badalow thought about it, lost it. Ends up with Rosic. Up ahead, Kupke, Rosic. Kupke, nice pass. No, that's Zelenskas. Chefs, dribble drive to the hoop. Too far. Badalow, nice rebound, 26 seconds remaining. Up ahead, here's Milan. Picking up the pace. Shot from three is short. They continue to just be abysmal from deep. Another three is up, and it's long. Garavaglia can't put it in. Seven seconds remaining. Rosic sees the time. Sees he has to hurry up. Three seconds. Someone's going to have to shoot it. Here's the shot. It's up. Zelenskas oh, in and out. At the buzzer. Almost put a dagger in it. 64. Ulm. Milan. 48. We'll be back after this quick break for the last 10 minutes of the game here in Munich. Co-host for Bayern Games. Niels would say, nice take to the basket. Badalow. Right now in the NBA, your top players are Europeans. Nikola Jokic, Doncic, Giannis. As that three attempt goes wild, Zelenska cleans it up, puts it in.
Ball on. Casella. Casella. Dribble drive. Takes a shot that banks in. Looks a bit dangerous, but it drops. 14 point lead for Ulm. Rosic. Turnover. Maybe this is where momentum shifts back to the Italians. Casella. Battle out. Jump shot. Rolls long and it's cleaned up. Volant. That's his eighth point. Milan. Sneaking right back into this game. Quick. Spin, nice pass, and a block, and a foul. Garavaglia almost had a nice block. Almost don't count. Except in horseshoes. Grenades, maybe. Ryba checks back in. He's got a double-double. 19 points. Linskus hits the first. Let's see what Milan tries to do differently. And they get the ball going, passing a lot between players. Have a speedy half-court offense. That's really been their success. I can tell you from three, they have struggled mightily. Up next after this game, Adidas, the next generation team from Munich. Face off against I'm sorry, I'm reading this wrong. At the ANGT, Athens versus Connus. Potential for a first place game, but they need some things to go right from to Athens. First of all, they gotta win. They've gotta win and they need Munich to beat the next generation team Munich by a lot. Zelenskis. Now it's quick. Cross court pass, Mihailov. One on the shot clock, and he gets it in. Ah, when things are going right, they're just going right for you. That was a nice shot at the last second. Rebound, Mikhailov just scored the points, gets the rebound, feeling good. Up 14. Playing for the fifth place game tomorrow. That would be at 12 o'clock. Things start tomorrow at 10. There's a shot. Mikhaila feeling it. Rosic with the rebound. Here's Quick. Quick dribble drive. Gets it out. Zelenska, seven seconds on the shot clock. Here's Rosic. And he drills it. With a little embellishment at the end. Ulm is starting to feel like they've got this one in the bag. But there's plenty of time left. Screen foul called against Milan. Milan going to go think it over. And so will we. We'll be back.
And we're back in action. Six minutes, 30 to play. At the Adidas Next Generation Tournament in Munich. Ulm in orange, Milan in white. Ulm has been hot here in the last few minutes. Taking a fairly big lead, and there he is, Eric Reibe. 21 points. He has unquestionably been the star of the game so far. Best player in the tournament for Ulm. 10 rebounds, 21 points, a double-double. Rosic. 19-point lead, and as we said, you have that time in the game as it's put home by Kupkit, assists to Ryba. You get to the point in the game where it's going to shift towards one team or the other, and it clearly shifted to Ulm. It's not over. Another missed three. That's put home. Battle out. He's got 15 now. Four of 24 from beyond the arc. Kickball called against Milan. Milan, 16% from three. Nice fake as you rewatch that play from Battle Out. Rosic leaves the floor. Miller will look to control. There is indeed a tournament at the Audi Dome. Nicoli. Marcucci. Shot is up, no good, but a foul called. Appreciate you people in the Twitch stream. What can I say? I just like saying the Adidas Next Generation Tournament at the Audi Dome in Munich. It just rolls off the tongue. It's like poetry. Makes two. Miller. Dribble drive. Chefs, open three, a little long. Foul called. That'll be the second team foul against Ulm. 17 point lead, five minutes, a little under five minutes to play. Coley, Casella, Casella thought about a shot, takes it, flat, Ryba, rebound. Favorite player in this game, well, he just got a rebound, number 12, there he is. Here's Michaela. Almost traveled. Puts a shot up, didn't get it. Battle out, full head of steam. Jump shot, bounces short, rebounds. Yeah, that's Ryba. Miller. Zelenskas tried to get it to Ryba. Couldn't fit it in. Here's Casella. No, I'm sorry, McCauley. Teardrop, one-handed shot. Doesn't go, but falls into the hands of Zanetti. He puts it home. 15-point lead now. Timeout called by Ulm. They'll try to slow things down. 
try saying it in the German language. ANGT. The ANGT here in the Audi Dome. Hello. We'll be back. Three minutes, 32 left. Milan, 15 points down. It is not over. There is time. They need uh, maybe everything to go right to have a chance. But crazier things have happened. As with the entire game, if they just find their shot from outside, they could stay in this. But... Ulm has the ball. Zelenskas. Rosic. Zelenskas. Sets the screen. Still no space. Here's Quick. Three seconds remaining. Someone's got to take a shot. Quick does as he's falling away. And the rebound falls to Muller. Inside Zelenskas. He's up and fouled. Third foul on Milan. Oh, favorite NBA player is not a question. That is Nikola Jokic. I'm a Denver Nuggets fan, born and raised in Denver. I'm not sure if you're asking me Lukaku. Lukaku, 23, who's your favorite soccer player? <laughs> I bet I could guess. Doncic is, I, for a non-Denver Nugget, Luka Doncic is my favorite player outside of the Nuggets. Great player. Really like how he plays. I, lo I love the European players. Caruso. Hey, you got to love how Caruso plays. Dude, dude plays hard. I like those types of players. You know who else plays hard? Eric Ribe. Fourteen. No, nope, sixteen point lead. Sorry, working out my math. And cheesy. McCauley, nice take. Good layup. Strong from McCauley. That's thirteen points for him. Badalao leads the team with fifteen. 14 point game. They got to stop Ulm if they want to stay in it. Here's Miller. Quick with the three. It's long. Rebound to Milan. Milan, they are not done yet. Here's McCauley. Marcucci. Anchisi. Here's Marcucci for three. Way short. Rebound, Badalao. Badalao, shot. No good. Zelinskas. Milan's running out of time. They have to make these shots. Rosic. Can Milan come up with a hero in the last two minutes? Zelinskas. Dribble drive. Thought about a shot. Didn't take it. Now it's Rosic. He takes the three. And he drills it. Rosic may have just ended the game. 81-64. Minute 30 left. Rosic with 14 on the game. That was a dagger. Block shot, there's Rybit. Zelenskas ends up with it. Now here's Rosic. Rosic feeling it. Probably will slow it down. No need to rush. Here's Quick on the inside. And an offensive foul. 
They're saying quick. Wrapped around. Here's that three from Rosic. Boy, was that clutch. Reminder that up next, Athens faces off against Kaunas. Big implications for that game, possibly playing for the first place spot in the Group B. Here's on Cheesy. Zanetti on Cheesy. One minute to play. They've got to score quickly here. They're taking too long in half court offense. There's just not enough time. Down by 15. Jump ball. The officials will discuss if the shot clock expired before. And Ulm will have the ball. I think that will pretty much write it off, I think, for Milan. 17 point lead, 53 seconds for Ulm. Ulm played the better game, made their shots. 14 from Quick, 14 from Rosic, 14 from Zelenskas, 21 from Raibe. Rosic with very important points in the final quarter, final minutes of this game. Oh, a hard foul. Kopkit went up and got clotheslined. Nothing intentional, just got tangled up. He'll shoot two. Ulm will head to one and two in the tournament. Milan to 0 and three. Milan then will play in the seventh place game tomorrow at 10 a.m. So they'll have an early wake up call. Likely to face off against FC Bayern, who has two losses and a poor point differential, but you never know. Nicoli, coast to coast, that's what they should have been doing all along, trying to score quickly. Here's Rosic, a little more press competitiveness here from Milan. It just took him too long to get here. That ball's out of bounds off Ulm. I, you didn't feel when, when Milan was down by 15 with, you know, what, a minute 50 to play, it didn't feel like they were really in a hurry-up mode. And you really have to score a lot of points and get stops down by that much. And at this point... Too little, too late. Zanetti will shoot free throws. After Athens and Kaunas, I will be back for the game at 7 o'clock. Next Generation Team Munich versus FC Bayern Munich. FC Bayern looking for their first win. Next Generation Team Munich almost beat Salgiris Kaunas. for that likely first place game tomorrow at six. Zanetti, long. And he'll reshoot it. Zagiris plays next against Panathinaikos, Athens. Again, a big game. Even if Zagiris Kaunas loses, they'll need FC Bayern to defeat Next Generation Team Munich by a decent amount, I believe. Could happen. So Athens has a lot to play for, as does Kaunas. Should be a good game. That's up next. Likely in... 15 to 20 minutes after this game ends. 
Milan fouls. Again, it, it's just a little too little too late. Kind of a strange approach at the end of the game here for Milan, if I may say. Rosic. Boom. We'll finish off the qualifying rounds with a win. They'll feel good, especially playing without one of their top players, Dadi, who sat with an injury. Eric Reibe, player of the game. Boom. Wraps it up with Milan. 84 to 67. Up next. Athens verse Connus. Don't go anywhere. Basketball continues here at the Audi Dome. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get ready to race to the top. I'm ready to do this. Show you what the truth is. I step on the field. It's time to get real. I'm feeling so ruthless. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop. Blow with the lights down. Hand over my crown. Hand over my heart. I do this for my town. I do this for my crowd. So turn me up real loud. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop. Yeah. So what are you afraid of? Those feelings are made of. Get in the game, your moment of fame. Show them what you made of. It's time that we stand up. It's time that we man up. For anyone asking who is the best, we put in our hands up. My time, my time, nothing can keep me from reaching the top This time, like the last time, I'm moving so fast, I'm ready to I'm rock. ready to slow down, it's time for the show down I'm ready to rise, don't be surprised, I'll take on the world now My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop Lower the lights down, hand over my crown Hand over my heart, I do this for my town I do this for my crowd, so turn me up real loud My time Eric Leibach, congratulations. Ratio from home, first victory of the tournament. Uh, your thoughts about getting this win? It's a great, it's great. Um, I feel like we grew as a team and then playing tomorrow, competing, playing, and yeah, it's great. Uh, you said competing tomorrow is fifth place. Um, you know, so many great players have played in this competition in the past. You know, what's it like for you to, to, to be part of this? Uh, you know, you guys played against Real Madrid, you, you know, seeing the whole experience, NBA scouts and everything. What's it like for you? It's, uh, it's very exciting. I feel like it's a great opportunity for everybody. And um, I feel that, like this is the best way to uh, develop our skills and as a team, of course. You still have one more game. What, would you, what do you think is the biggest thing you've learned personally uh, at this tournament? I've learned that we have to focus on defense very much. We have to do a help side. Of course, offense, we have to share the ball more. We have to fight and be the more energetic team. All right, congratulations. Good luck uh, in the fifth place game. Thank you. Ah, yes. yes. Coach Ragnarsson, congratulations on the first ever victory for an Icelandic coach in the ANGT. Uh, what's that mean for you? I mean, just happy to experience this experience. Uh, like, obviously, like, it's it's good for Iceland to have a coach taking part in this tournament. So, yeah, just excited to be here. Of course, it's not only about you. It's it's, it's about Rutsu from Ulm. You know, it's a program that's you know s still doing great things. Um, maybe what does it mean for you guys to get this victory and to be you know at least going for fifth place? Obviously, you wanted to do more, but you have a young team and everything else to be fighting for fifth place. Yeah, I think we we can be happy with that. I mean, the the guys are, are young and they have really stepped up in this tournament. Uh, and and players like Joel, Jordan Mueller, Eric Reipel really 
stepping up and, and showing leadership, leadership, especially after Pak Home, like our main player gets injured in the first game. So uh, we can be happy with that for sure. Uh, maybe just the, the biggest thing that the takeaway, you, you still have one more game, but the biggest takeaway that, that Ulm uh, has from this, uh, from this tournament? Uh, I mean, experience for guys who will come here again and play hopefully uh, next year so uh, we have a lot of younger guys in the roster who might get a chance again so I think that's uh, the biggest takeaway and of course just uh, being a part of it is uh, always fun. Right. Congratulations. Thank you.